Hey, buddy. <laughs> you are an old doggy. <laughs> nope. <laughs> what a beauty. What up, guys? It's gonna be a bit of a Q&A today with Adin. Because we've been out all day. And these gym climbers, you know, we're not used to... I would guess I'm the only... For yeah, I'm the only gym climber. I'm not used to, like, trekking. And I get not, like... I'm also not used to, like, Adin <laughs> messing up the trail so we, like, lost for three hours. <laughs> so we actually didn't get so much climbing in. But we did get, like, actually, like, I think solid, like, two, two, oh, two, two episodes, I think, we got today. Uh, and the reason is... Yeah, I think it will be two. I think, I think so, maybe. Um, oh, and we're all like incredibly crushed. So we're going to do like a QA and a and then, because I mean like these videos, for me, like the root setting video with Jackie, the outdoor videos, I want to put extra love into them. And I don't think I really can do that when I'm kind of crushed, more crushed than I usually am. Uh, and I mean, like we have a lot of questions for Adin too, because a lot of guys have been, a lot of women and men have been asking some very interesting questions to Adin that he can answer. What are the questions? Uh, like, why are you wearing socks when you have climbing shoes? Yeah, that's one question. That's one question. Um, do you? I, I read all the comments. Yeah. Do you, Do you pluck your eyebrows? Oh right. <laughs> well, we can answer that. Yeah. That plenty of like stuff that needs to be answered. That's painful. So I'm gonna give this camera away to that's Adin, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna get some insights. <clears throat> Hello, uh, my name is Adin. I've been in a few Varys videos. Might have seen me. Maybe you didn't. Maybe this is your first video that you're seeing, in which case you're very unlucky. Go watch a different one first. But yeah, we're gonna do a quick Q&A for some of the reasons that Eric just told you. Um, there's gonna be some cool non-Q&A videos coming out, but they need some extra attention. I just told you my name. Uh, my age is 22 years old. I'm American. I was in Sweden uh, my last semester of school. Um, some people still ask why I was in Sweden, so that's why. There's like a bit of backstory to it. I don't know if anyone cares about that. But one of my majors requires some kind of like cultural exposure experience. And I really like, I was really pretty pissed about that because I, I don't like being like forced to do shit. But in this instance, like it's pretty cool that they forced me to go to Sweden because yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of great experiences came from that. And yeah, now I'm friends, friends with Eric, friends with Megan and some other people, it's, it's pretty great. That's how this all got started, basically. So I was back in the States, very lonely for, for a little while. And then luckily we, you know, we were able to come out here to Colorado. Um, but anyway, yeah, let me ask, answer uh, a couple questions. There's only two that I know about, about right now, but um, <laughs> one is about my eyebrows, which might not look so pristine up close. Let me see if I can get them into their best state. Yeah, my eyebrows actually, um, yeah, I'd love to say that it's, you know, it's all just natural, but I mean, it's natural that there's a lot of like eyebrows there, but um, yeah, I have taken some care of my eyebrows. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty opposed to the unibrow, so I like, I make sure that there's not any, any eyebrows inside there, inside this like middle section. Yeah, that's all I'm going to reveal about the <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> all right, now onto socks. Now... <laughs> Yeah, I guess I kind of want to talk about this. I've talked about it a lot to individual commenters, or I've, you know, I've typed about it on YouTube. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty sure that wearing socks is the way to go, at least for me. Um, and I think I'm gonna continue doing it. I, you didn't... my shoes were disgusting. Um, you know, they just smelled terrible. They would get like greasy. Like I go down to the, the Red River Gorge sometimes in the summer. Um, and it's pretty hot and humid down there. And if you're, if you're rocking shoes barefoot, like it, it gets heinous. It gets real heinous inside those, uh, inside that footwear. So, yeah, I think I think it was maybe after a red trip or just uh, under poor conditions that led to like absolutely like the peak of disgustingness in the shoes. Um, I decided that I would try something else. And it turns out that just, you know, wearing socks in your shoes, um, even if your feet still sweat a little bit, the, the shoes are preserved and they just, they never, 
like yeah maybe there's like a bit of a smell honestly i my most of my shoes just kind of smell like new yeah my again like my feet are, are pretty normal they're like you know fairly gross i think feet are super gross and mine are no exception <laughs> uh <laughs> but but yeah i mean the, the socks just just work like that's the thing about a sock right like you take it off and you can wash it your shoe just remains there you can you know try your best but that thing's gonna collect like disgusting disgusting oils and god knows what else off of your foot um so you end up with revolting shoes now like some people have have feet maybe that don't don't cause that and for you like go ahead you know don't wear socks but if you have issues and i know from following my nose through climbing gyms that many people do um you know with with really nasty shoes yeah highly recommend socks as a solution um yeah i've been climbing for a long time what I'm able to do in climbing is pretty shameful given like how long I've been doing it. But um, I have kind of a chill approach to the sport, even though it's you know really important to me, obviously. Um, and also when I started off, I I was very, like I started very young. I started when I first climbed when I was six in this like old school gym. Um, the spot reminds me a little bit of that gym. Um, which maybe is part of the reason I respond so like positively to the spot. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I, I started climbing when I was extremely young. And yeah, like gym climbing was still fairly young as well. And yeah, I still, I like, I still don't train. I still don't do everything that I could do to, uh, to raise the level. But I strongly believe that, first of all, I, I think like training is really boring. Um, you know, part of the reason I climb is to get a, a workout that I enjoy. It's like, I mean, that's one of the great things about climbing as, you know, a lot of people who climb now. I don't think I have to get stronger. I think I have to get better at climbing. So I'm not all that motivated to uh, to train. What I am motivated to do is do some, uh, I recently started doing some non-climbing stuff for injury prevention and increasing mobility. I think that I think that is the the right choice. Like you can always say you could do both, but there is finite time. And um, what I'm the amount of time that I'm willing to commit to um, is enough to fill like one pursuit. So I choose the yeah the like health side rather than the beastly strength side. The interesting part, I guess, would be like when would we see you again? I suppose after this week. Oh yeah, that is a good one. Yeah. Yeah, so after this week is over, there'll be a bit of a hiatus, you know, sadly. We'll go our separate ways. These guys back to Sweden, and I'll stick around here. Well, not here, but out of Colorado. I'll be making some other trips to Colorado, but... Um, yeah, we don't know exactly when we're going to meet up again. Uh, I think Eric is... Eric may be doing some work with gyms in Chicago soon. So if that happens, I'll try to... Yeah, I'll make every effort to be in town, because um, that would be sweet, you know, to show them around my my hometown and you know the gyms that I know best and the community that I love. Um, so yeah, uh, potentially sometime later this summer, but we're not sure. Those those plans are still in like pretty early stages. And then yeah, like uh, I still don't really know what I'm doing in my future, um, you know, long term, but. I'll be finished with school soon, and I don't know. Sweden could be a cool place to to spend, you know, spend an extended period of time once more, um, and see if you know maybe I'd wanna wanna be there in a more permanent way. I mean, I'm down to like to try to continue to see these guys and do trips and appear in videos. Um, it's been really fun and like really valuable experience for me. So, so yeah, I hope we can we can sustain some kind of schedule even if it's irregular of uh of seeing each other yeah and i do plan to go back to sweden even if it's just a just a visit but yeah maybe i'll live there too who knows but hopefully i answered some of the questions that you guys have um if you have more you may have noticed i'm a pretty avid commenter so <laughs> feel free to throw them in the comments and you will likely get a response yeah comments are the best <laughs> so yeah uh you know thanks for watching as always um and yeah keep in mind you know if if this bored the hell out of you, uh, 
yeah, watch the next video because it'll be really, really good. Um, and, and the ones after that, it's just Eric needs time to, to make them everything that they can be.